So, you know, it's kind of like uh, wrapping somebody up and then releasing them out to the world again, to the big bad wolves and so on, and allowing them to find their own ways. But in, in that whole process, there's a, a lot of intervention, a lot of encouragement, and a lot of, um, you might say, uh, a lot of parting with school from our, our, our experienced uh, kaimahi or workers or staff that give them that education. We also, uh, while they're in a group, group therapy in clinical time in the mornings, um, we, we've got a couple of interventions and programs that we use in order to capture the issues uh, or the mamai or the sickness or the unwellness that is uh, that is generated over a long period of time. It's painting them something, it's modelling something for them that they're going to learn from in the community. You know, we have this thing when there's a raru raru, which is a you know, problem in the house, they have a whānau hui, so they get to get in and have their own meeting in their house, and what we're modelling for them is something that they can do when there's a raru raru or problem in their own home, at, you know, their own house at home, that they can call a meeting with their family and they actually know how to run that meeting and about trying to get the right outcomes, you know, and it's not about everyone getting together and having a fight because it's just unproductive. It's about, okay, how are we going to make this work? With This is the problem, how are we going to sort it? It's a pathway to wellness, and that pathway to wellness isn't always just about uh, being abstinent from alcohol and drugs because we recognise that there are a whole multitude of uh, things that might need to occur in order for you to maintain that. So we call it a, a, an oranga plan specifically for that reason and trying to educate people that it's not just about being abstinent. So what, you're abstinent but you still have the same shitty behaviours. What's changed? So there's a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of um, different facets to that. As we're talking guys that have got lifelong habits you know, and sometimes meeting them once or twice in the community is just ain't going to work because the devices are still there. They're showing up drunk. They're staying up, showing up stoned, and you know, fried. How are you supposed to help them? You need to clear that mind, you know. And you can only start challenging their thinking and behaviours um, once they've come off that drugs, you know. And I, I always tell my clients when they come through here, you know, getting off the drugs is easy. It's changing those behaviours and those thinkings that's the problem, because you know, when something goes wrong, how do you behave? How do you think? You go to the drug. It's kind of great to see that a person hasn't got a lot of confidence when they first uh, come into the program and then at the end of the three months they're buzzing. And I'm talking about all cultures that have been in the whare as well. And what they do take away, uh, which we've been able to teach us at least some of our language. And it, it, it's really awesome to see a, a, a European person sit up what we call our paitapu, greeting people in our language. It's really awesome to see, let alone sing our waiatas. And so I think uh, the benefits of that is, well, we want to share our culture with you and, that's, and, and hopefully you'll take some of that away.